recently, the Templin Institute produced something of a guide, entitled Building Your Interstellar Tank Force. Within that guide, I tried to defend Stargate Command's lack of heavily armored vehicles by saying that those vehicles, and most specifically an M1 Abrams tank, couldn't fit through a Stargate. Now I am forced to admit, at the time, the Templin Institute Stargate was in the shop, and we had no way of actually verifying this. So, you know, I just kinda eyeballed it, and it sure doesn't seem like a tank could fit through there, right? Well, wouldn't you know it, as soon as Building Your Interstellar Tank Force was released, we had a lot of comments saying that yeah, a tank could fit through a Stargate. So our Stargate's back from the shop, and we have plenty of tanks lying around, we can load their dimensions into the central Templin computer, so I can decisively prove once and for all that I was correct in this, and all those people leaving comments didn't know what they were talking- ah, shit. Okay, yes, so an M1 Abrams tank could fit through a Stargate. And with room to spare, actually, that's surprising to me. So if some armored vehicles actually can fit through a Stargate, then how come we don't see them in service within Stargate Command? Well, the first obvious answer is that Earth's primary Stargate is located within the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, within an old decommissioned ICBM silo. This isn't a great excuse, though, because that Stargate can be hoisted up and down that silo, so if Stargate Command really wanted to use armored vehicles, I'm sure they'd find a way to make it happen. Rather, I think the main reason you don't see armored vehicles assigned to SG teams is because they're not necessarily suitable for the small footprint special operations that those teams undertake. More often than not, the missions undertaken through a Stargate are unconventional and rely on some degree of secrecy. And while I would love nothing more than to see a Goa Wooled system lord with that smug look they always have suddenly have to face down an M1 Abrams tank, it just wouldn't be practical to deploy them. The Goa Wooled don't use much heavy armor, and the amount of supply and logistics necessary to keep those tanks running just isn't worth it. Sorry, uh, we don't normally drive these in the Air Force. But is there a vehicle that makes more sense for a Stargate Command? I think the requirements would be something like an armed and armored transport capable of moving swiftly and long distances over rugged terrain, the ability to carry a single SG team of four specialists, and something that's not going to require too much maintenance or logistical support. It would also need to be available within the United States military arsenal from the late 90s up to modern day. With all that in mind, I think the vehicle that makes the most sense for Stargate Command would be the LAV-25, used by the United States Marine Corps and the United States Army. The standard variant features a 25mm chain gun, a couple machine guns, has a maximum speed of 100 kilometers an hour, and an operational range of 660 kilometers. It requires three crew to operate, a vehicle commander, gunner, and driver, but can accommodate four passengers with combat gear. Seems just about perfect. There's also a ton of different variants, each equipped with anti-tank weaponry, or mortars, or suited towards command and control or logistics. The air defense variant would also be pretty handy when it came to shooting down death gliders. And while maybe not quite as intimidating as an M1 Abrams tank, I think they could run over a Gowold System Lord easy enough. But that, of course, is just my opinion. And even though I am incapable of error, and that whole mistake about a tank fitting through a Stargate was intentional so as to increase YouTube engagement, I'd still like to hear your thoughts. Should armored vehicles be assigned to SG teams, and what vehicle makes the most sense? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, this has been a Templin Dispatch.